Hi everybody, Sketch Card Hive here. Today we have something very cool to show you. It's a quick little video, it's a how-to video really, on how to participate in something called the Library of Marvel Cards. This is a space that's being created by collectors to basically keep track of cards that kind of go missing. Uh, sketch cards, printing plates, comic cuts, things that are unique in nature. And we're kind of creating a space where they are there's a gallery, a record of them, and this will be on Discord, and I'm going to show you how to walk through, and I'm going to give you a little tour, and uh, we're actually going to add a card ourselves so I can show you how this works. Now, the system is new. We are using Discord. I'm maintaining it with a few other people who have been extremely helpful in doing this, so there are some growing pains here, but I do think this would be a great opportunity for the community to participate in not only getting to see some of the most amazing cars in people's collection and getting to share and react and all this kind of good stuff, but also kind of have a space where we can always go somewhere to appreciate these items rather than they being buried somewhere off in uh, Marvel card land. So I'm hoping everyone will participate here. This group will be open to everyone. And it is really a uh, initiative to kind of record the uniqueness and the kind of the excitement that people get when they get to see really amazing Marvel cards. So let's get into it. I'm going to share my screen with you. And this is actually the Discord. So as you can see here, this is your read it first page, right? So I want you all to read this, right? Which is what we're walking through today, which is read this first. It's basically telling you the format of how we're going to do this, okay? This is what it looks like on the side here. This is Discord, by the way. If you don't have an account, you look up Discord on Apple uh, apps on your phone or on your computer, wherever you work, PC or Mac, it works for either. And you have something here called Marketplace, which we haven't dived into yet. Nothing's come there. But if you do see something you like, you can come back to Marketplace and say, hey, I'm willing to buy X for X amount. Okay. This is our voice channel chat, which you can all get in there if you want, have chats, whatever the case may be. And then these are all the sets. Now, not all of them have been added as of yet. Okay. You can see a few things cool here. Let's say we're looking for a 2016 Marvel Masterpiece card, right? You can actually come here and you have the tags. You can do Silver Spectrum Autos, whatever you may be interested. And let's say I just want to see the Tomas that people have uploaded so far. And there you go. Let's see a Matt Fuller sketch card. And there it is, a four puzzle sketch card that he uploaded that you guys get to view. Here are all the details and the owner and you can react and put a little heart. I'm gonna do that because it's awesome. And you can see all the Tomas from the set. So as more people come into it, other people who have Adrian Toma sketches will place them under the 2016 if they are from that set. And someone can come here and just simply type in the artist. Now it gets even crazier. Let's say we wanna see all the Psylocke stuff. Now, here is two Psylocke sketches that have been posted in 2016 Marvel Masterpieces. So if you're a Psylocke fan and you love these, this is a great place where you can enjoy these sketch cards or trade with Matt Fuller or buy them. Now, I don't know if they're for sale. I have no idea. But it is a great space to know where things are. And when it comes to collecting, it's more important to know where something is than to uh, just simply be able to obtain it most of the time because it could lead to a good trade or whatever the case may be. So if we go back up here, we'll go back to read this first. Um, so you've seen a little bit of tour of that. Let's add a card in real time. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again, but with a video I did earlier from my phone. So you guys can see how easy it is. So here's a little video of what I did on my phone. And basically this is the discord app, the blue one there showing you there. This brings us here to the welcome to the Marvel card library. See, here's the format that you can always remember how to put your stuff. Usually you wanna put the artist and the name of the character, the card, so you can search for things. So I have this card. Uh, this is a Nova card, and I'm gonna go ahead and enter it into this little database for us in the community so everyone can enjoy it. Um, I think it's Ray, R-A-Y, or is it E? I'll change it if anything. But as you can see, I'm adding the photo now, and there she is, and a simple post. And there you go. The card is now in the Discord under 2008 Fantastic Four Archive. And as easy as that, fast, simple, and they'll show up in this kind of list category with a preview image. So really, that's what I wanted to show you today. It was a quick little video. If you have any questions, hit me up. 
contact us on the Discord. We have help there. We have some moderators. Again, this is for everybody in the community to kind of add interesting and rare cards into one space that we can all have access to. Rather than being owned on a website, lost to someone not paying a website, or existing on Facebook and having them be buried, this is not necessarily a hub for people to communicate to each other or replacing any Facebook groups. This is more of a space where we can keep a hall of records, a library of Marvel cards for ourselves, for us collectors. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the Discord. Tell me what you thought. And put in the, disc in the comments down below uh, what cards are you excited the most to share on Discord or even to see for that matter. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye, everybody.